This is an update to Voltdog number 48. In that video, I did the review of the GoFor CPS 3205C, the uh, 2016 upgraded or um, revised model, which should have some improvements. I did some measurements on the output noise, but unfortunately, I had an error in my measurement setup, and I believe the tip of the oscilloscope probe wasn't actually touching the um, positive output terminal of the power supply, so I got some uh, wrong results from those measurements. So this video is to address that issue and uh, redo that test to get the actual uh, output noise of this uh, newer revision compared to the older one. So on the left I have the old revision of the CPS 3205C and on the right I have the newer revision. I'm not going to uh, do the measurements at the same time to avoid uh, coupling any noise into the oscilloscope uh, from both of these uh, power supplies. So I'm going to uh, connect them one by one to the uh, channel 1 of the oscilloscope and uh, do those uh, uh, measurements. I will be using exactly the uh, same setup. I have the ground leads removed from the oscilloscope probes and uh, I have improvised some uh, short low impedance ground connections right on the uh, ground contact on the oscilloscope probe. This is how the probe connects to the actual power supply output. You see the tip of the probe goes to the positive terminal and the uh, ground shield is connected to the negative terminal through that um, copper wire and it's not touching the uh, metal enclosure if you were wondering that. So our first measurement is the older revision with the output turned off and we're getting a figure of about uh, 53 up to 54 millivolts peak to peak noise. Let's switch to the newer revision. Reset the statistics and with the newer revision we're getting a figure of uh, 49 to 50 millivolts uh, peak to peak noise. So a slight reduction in the um, output noise coupled to the output. Next measurement is with the output turned on, no load at 5 volts. The older revision has a noise of uh, 53 up to 55 millivolts uh, peak to peak. And the newer revision has an output noise of about uh, 50 to 52 millivolts peak to peak. For 10 volts output, no load, the older revision has about 52 millivolts peak to peak, and the newer revision also 50 51 millivolts peak to peak. 20 volts output, no load, the old revision 53 uh, millivolts peak to peak, and the new revision. 65 millivolts peak to peak. For maximum output voltage at 32 volts no load, the old revision has a noise of 54 millivolts peak to peak and the new revision 56 millivolts peak to peak. Now we're also going to measure the output noise with a load connected on the output. So I have this uh, 4.7 ohm resistor that I'm going to have to switch between the two power supplies. The output is set to uh, 5 volts. So we have a 1 amp load on the power supply and the noise figure of uh, 55 up to 60 millivolts uh, peak to peak. So now I have switched the load to the newer revision power supply. We see it's pulling uh, 1 amp once again and the noise value is uh, 65 millivolts uh, peak to peak. My conclusion is that although they seem to have improved the uh, output noise in some measurement cases, like for example when I was measuring without any load, it, the output appeared to have uh, about 5 millivolts less peak to peak noise than the older revision. Uh, in other cases, like for example under load at 5 volts 1 amp, the output noise seems to have increased and we can see that in the um, measured value which increased with about 5 to 10 millivolts and also on, on how the actual waveform looks on the uh, scope screen. We see it has a lot more noise content 
uh, when compared to when compared to the older revision. But all in all, the output noise uh, seems to be around the the same figure, and it's it's not a huge difference. So with respect to the output noise, I couldn't say you're getting a, a better power supply with the newer revision, but I couldn't say either that you're getting a worse power supply. It's kind of the same thing, but with some minor differences because they probably tweaked the filtering on the output stage of this power supply. So as usual, thank you for watching this video and see you next time.